Okay, boys and girls, here's what we're going to be doing. Let's have a conversation about literary elements. And those are the elements that, or the pieces that make up a story. So every story has these four pieces to it. They have the characters, those are the people and animals that are in the story. And we think about what do they say, what do they think, what do they do? And what do the other characters say and think about them? We also have the settings. Where and when does the story take place? How does that affect the plot? Because certain events happen in certain settings. And that affects the plot by creating its mood. Sometimes you'll have a story, maybe you'll have a mystery story and it takes place on, a, on an island and there's a lot of, a creepy island and there's a lot of atmosphere there. Then we have the plot. The plot is very important to a story because there's always a conflict. The conflict is the problem in the story. Then we have the resolution, and that is how the conflict or problem is solved. Then we have the events. The events are the things that happen in a story. These are the things that changes a character, how the character changes and grows in the story. We have the events and the, the events that affect the mood of the story and how they build the plot. Here's what you're gonna be doing. I have sent a story to your Google Classroom. Don't, don't move, don't move. That wasn't an invitation to move. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be reading part of the story today. You're going to be paying attention to those literary elements. You're gonna be thinking about the characters. You're going to be thinking about the setting because the setting is important to our story you're going to be reading. You're gonna be thinking about the plot. You're gonna be thinking about the conflict, the issue, the problem that the main character has. You're gonna be thinking about the events because one event causes another event to happen. Remember, the events build on each other. And what you're going to do is, is you're going to only be reading the first three chapters. And then you're going to be answering questions that have to do with those first three chapters of the story. Okay. Now this is a story that is called um, Alex the Soccer Super Striker. I think you're going to enjoy it because I know many of you enjoy soccer. And you all enjoyed our other story about soccer, which was called, what was our story called? Soccer Shootout. Soccer Shootout. Yes, Soccer Shootout which was a, a story that everyone in here enjoyed. So, I'm going to have you get started now. It is in Google Classroom, so you'll have to get it from Google Classroom. And that's what we're going to be working on.